Hey, crypto family, hope y'all doing good today. So I know today's a red day. A lot of people are probably losing money, but there have been some altcoins that have been holding up very well and some that are even up higher than they were a week ago. So we're gonna go over those coins and where I think the market's gonna be at in the long term. So with that, let's go ahead and go to our portfolio. And one of the first coins I wanna talk about is Osmosis. So people remember the Atom Cosmos Network was doing very well the past couple of days and it went up to a high of over $45 and it's basically the next chain that everyone was bullish on. And for those who know what Osmosis is, it is the number one DEX on the Cosmos network. So it's up 2% today. If you actually look at the weekly chart, seven day chart, you can see just a week ago, it was nearly under $7. And now again, it's over 850. So it's almost to its all time high of 915, which is amazing to see. And one of the big reasons for this is the website is very user friendly. You can tell they put a lot of thought into it. So Here's the Osmosis website. You can see it's very colorful. They put a lot of thought into it and it's very user friendly. So that's why I love it. They have all kinds of you know little buttons here and they basically make everything extremely easy to use and it's just very intuitive. And you can even see on the markets tab, Osmosis is only tradable on their website. So again, you have a few small exchanges here, but the majority of volume comes from their website and there's a reason for that. People want you to use it. They want you to stake on there. So definitely a lot of support. Um, if you do stake on Osmosis, you are locked in for 14 days. And then when you unstake, it's another 14 days before fully unstaked. So that's why, again, there is a lot of holding, a lot of support. So basically, if you're in this, you're in it for the long term, which is one of the reasons why it's been doing so well lately. So definitely coin I am bullish on there. Next, let's go and look at our next coin. The next one I'm bullish on is off shift. So you can see today, it's actually, you know, it's down 10%. But if you look at the seven day chart here, look at that. Just a week ago, it was under $9. You can see it's steadily risen. Even during this downturn that we've had, it's performed very, very well. And what Offshift is, is on their Twitter, it's at Offshift XFT. It's their pioneering PriFi with the world's first primitive derivatives platform. One-to-one -one collateralization, zero slippage, zero liquidations, ZK assets are here. So you remember zero knowledge protocol, a uh, narrative I've been very bullish on for this year and one I think is going to take the world by storm. I was bullish on Dusk, went up over a dollar. Um, and bullish on a lot of ZK coins, but Offshift has been performing very, very well. It's ranked 526, still a ton of room to grow. And recently, a lot of people have been buying it. So definitely a coin to keep an eye on. And again, one that's been holding up very well during this downturn. Next coin I'll talk about is Chromatica. So again, there's a lot of people that have been rotating from different chains, right? L1, L2. And I think Chromatica is definitely in that rotation. Um, I'm going to click on it here. And you can see here that over the seven day, again, it has been holding steady where it's at, right? So it hasn't really declined a lot. It's still been holding steady around this 13 cent level. And if you go to their Twitter here, it says next generation DEX trading, no swap fees, no front running bots, no price slippage. So Chromatica is a very, very, very cool coin. And one I think is going to definitely do well in 2022. Again, still not a lot of people know about it. It's followed by Income Sharks. So he has a big following. But I still think a lot of people have yet to find Chromatica. And again, when I did recommend it in the Discord group, I did recommend it at about 13 cents. And then it rose all the way to a high of over 18 cents. So 50% return in just a day. So definitely think it can get up there again and even higher. Again, it's, it's ranked 1,215 with a market cap of 10 million. So still plenty of room to run here. So definitely one to keep on your radar. And then last but not least is Tethys Finance, okay? So Tethys Finance, it's up 0.4% today. If you go to the seven day chart, you can see here it is steadily rising. Okay, very, very bullish here. And for those who don't know what Tethys Finance is, it's basically the DEX on the Metis network. So it's one of the leading DEXs in addition to NET, but Tethys has been getting a lot of traction lately. A uh, big reason why it's because it's, you know, very, very low market cap. I believe it's only about 30 million market cap, which again, a lot of room to rise. It just got listed on CoinGecko um, about a week ago. And the Metis network, for those who don't know what that is, it is a layer two ETH network that's actually run by Vitalik's mom. And uh, it's not a joke. And it's been doing very well recently. Um, Metis hasn't been doing too well, but Tethys Finance has actually been doing well. So you can see Metis network is down 6% today, but Tethys is up 0.4%. So kind of a little, you know, little inverse relationship kind of Tethys is breaking away there. So I definitely think if Metis does continue to take off, Tethys can definitely 2X from here easily. And one that I think has a lot more room than that for the future if we continue this bull market, okay? So again, four coins, Osmosis, Offshift, Chromatica, and Tethys Finance. I think these are very good holds. 
They've ones that have been holding very, very well, even while a lot of these coins are continuing their downturn. Um, another coin, Link. I've seen a lot of hype around Link, so definitely you know keep an eye on that one. Um, a lot of people have been pumping that the past couple of days. But again, I think these are very, very good. Again, they can still be risky plays because they're a little bit lower market cap, but ones that I do think do have some stability, especially Osmosis here, and has shown strong, strong support. So definitely look for a dip to get some of these coins. Again, not financial advice, just some cool stuff that I think will perform well in 2022. So with that, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. Uh, if you want to join my Discord, again, I have a free membership and a paid. It's going to be pinned in the comments as well in the description. And then if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. Till next time, thanks for watching.